Chapter 1. The Ethereal Nexus In a world consumed by the pursuit of material success, where our days are dominated by the relentless chase for financial stability, it's easy to forget the ethereal nature of our own existence. Our preoccupation with the challenges and demands of human life often obscures the profound connection we share with our soul's essence, that consciousness which predates our first breath. Greetings. My name is Alex Martin, a devoted government research analyst diving into the unlimited depths of exotic paranormal, off-budget black projects. But beyond my professional life, I am a husband and a father to three of the most charming senior rescue cats one could imagine. It is my journey, a roadmap that begins with my childhood, that ignited my relentless quest to understand the intricate dynamics of our consciousness and the essence of our being. Allow me to guide you back to the days of my youth, when I was a mere six years old. My world revolved around our modest abode, a refuge ensconced within the heart of South Central Phoenix, an area known for its shadowy reputation as gangland territory. Living under the same roof were my beleaguered widowed mother, Allison Martin, my older brother, Trent, and the youngest member of our family, my deaf and autistic brother, Stephen Love. From the moment humanity takes its first breath until the final beat of its heart, there exists a profound wonder, an eternal essence commonly known as the soul. This consciousness, this life force, remains a mystery that transcends the boundaries of science and spirituality, challenging our understanding of existence. It's a topic that has fascinated minds for centuries, weaving its way through human history like a thread of curiosity. Alex Martin found himself pondering this mystery as he stared out of the window of his well-worn office. He adjusted his collar, the emblem on his badge glinting in the dim light. His journey had led him from humble beginnings to the position of a respected researcher in the field of exotic paranormal phenomena. His thoughts drifted back to his childhood, a time filled with challenges and questions that had shaped his path. Growing up was no simple feat for Alex. Raised in a rundown mobile home in a tough neighborhood, he had faced adversity from an early age. His father's memory loomed large, a quiet man who had been tragically taken away in the turmoil of Vietnam, leaving behind a fractured family. His mother, Alison, had struggled to cope, turning to alcohol and drugs as a means of escape. Amidst the chaos, Alex's older brother Trent had become his anchor. It was Trent's guidance that helped them navigate the treacherous waters of their upbringing. The youngest, Stephen, brought both joy and challenges with his deafness and autism. As the years passed, the turbulence of my childhood served as the foundation for my unquenchable thirst for understanding the intricate dynamics of consciousness. Through twists and turns, my journey led me to unexpected encounters with those who would play pivotal roles in unraveling the mysteries of existence. One such encounter was with my second cousin, Judy Goldberg, a renowned light worker with a reputation for having profound insights into the spiritual realm. It was on a crisp autumn afternoon, while attending a family reunion, that our paths converged once again. Alex, my dearest cousin, long time no see, exclaimed Judy with a warm smile, her eyes sparkling with an energy that seemed to radiate from within. Judy Goldberg, as vibrant and radiant as ever, I replied, returning her smile as we embraced in a hug that carried a sense of familiarity. Judy and I had not crossed paths in years, yet our connection felt as strong as ever. Next to me stood my younger brother, Stephen Love, 
who had grown into a remarkable young man with an innate sensitivity to the vibrations of the universe. Judy's gaze shifted to Stephen, and her eyes seemed to penetrate to the very core of his being. Using sign language, Judy greeted Stephen with a warm smile. Stephen's hands moved fluidly, expressing his gratitude for her kind words and his excitement to finally meet her in person. Judy responded with graceful hand movements, her fingers forming elegant shapes in the air. Likewise, she signed, her gestures accompanied by a gentle resonance that seemed to connect with Stephen's unique sensitivity. As the sun began to set, casting a warm golden hue over our gathering, Judy extended her hand, palm upturned. Take a look, she invited us. Observe the lines and patterns etched into my hand. As we leaned in to study her hand, she continued to communicate through sign language, her fingers spelling out intricate messages that mirrored the wisdom she was sharing. Every line tells a story, a tale of connections forged across lifetimes. Our souls have danced together in various roles, forming bonds that persist beyond the confines of mortality. Judy's words seemed to reverberate through the air, creating a web of interconnectedness that resonated deeply within us. Stephen, with his heightened sensitivity, was captivated by the energy that emanated from Judy. I sense it, Stephen signed with a sense of wonder. The vibrations, the threads that bind us together. Judy smiled, her eyes reflecting a profound understanding. You, Stephen, possess a gift that allows you to perceive the intricate fabric of existence. Your soul, with its unique sensitivity, reminds us that our true nature transcends the limitations of the physical realm. Alex Miller nodded in agreement, a sense of awe in his gaze. So our lives are but chapters in a much larger story? Judy's expression held a blend of compassion and wisdom. Indeed. Every encounter, every relationship, serves to build a lifetime of experiences. As you journey through life, remember that the bonds of connection are created with intention, and the bonds you form are reflections of the eternal dance of consciousness. In that fleeting moment, as the sun dipped below the horizon, we stood as witnesses to the profound truth that Judy had unveiled. Our paths had converged not by mere coincidence,